Right, so I thought in detail while you change the auxiliary belts on the Colt Rally Art, I'm guessing it'll be the same for the CZ2 as well. So obviously the first thing is to get the wheel off, um, and this will give you access, this pad, the driver's side, which I say, um, and that will give you access to obviously the cover here, which we need to pull back. So this is uh, it's two T30 Torx head bolts. So I'm just going to do these. Pull these out. Now, as much as there is a flap there, we need to pull this out of the way to obviously gain access to this. Now, we need to take off the aircon belt first. So, I'll remove the camera now so you can see that. Now, the way this system works is, you've got this bolt here, now this adjusts how far the pulley, this little pulley comes down here. We need to loosen this off to release the tension off this belt under here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pop the camera down, and we'll pop this off here to release the tension off this belt. It's a 14 mil. So and again, we just need to loosen this off. Now, I've had this off before, and I had to use a hammer to unseize it. So don't be surprised if you have to hit it. We need to pull this off first. See, I'm going to have to hit this with a hammer. The actual belt itself isn't pulling it enough to uh, to knock it back. Um, it's worth putting, using some WD-40 as well on this. So I'll release it up a bit. It hasn't moved, so we'll give that a tap on the helmet. Right, so we'll just give it a tap. Yeah, that's moved it. I'm not slacking the belt off enough so we can remove it. We'll probably want to back that off a bit more so we can get it back on. We need to remove this belt. Obviously you'd probably be changing this one anyway. But we need to remove this belt to get to the other one off. Oops. There we go. So I know that is free. And we can move this belt out of the way. As you can see there, that is what the belt size is. So if you're ordering one, it's the actual size, so 4PK805. So, <coughs> obviously now the AC belt's off, and as you can see we've still got the, the main drive belt in there as well. So, to remove this one, let's first of all remove the engine cover. And the way this works is it pivots on the alternator. So you see there, there's like a, uh, like a bolt and a bracket and it moves around on that bracket there. So what we need to do is we need to basically release the alternator off. We have to remove the bolts, we just need to back them off. So the bottom bolt, you'll probably want a flexible uh, spanner for this, or the flexible head, and preferably a ratchet. And we will need to... It's probably about that way. And we'll need to basically get access sure how well the camera will be able to see it, but there is a bolt at the bottom of the alternator. It's along with two bolts, and we need to slacken the bolt off. Uh, it's this one just there. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. So there you go. So now what we need to do is turn this bolt obviously not counterclockwise. We don't need to release it off completely, we just need to release it off enough. And it's loose and it will actually move. Like I say, this, this type of ratchet uh, spanner makes it a lot easier, so that's pretty loose now. Yeah, that's finger loose, so we'll put that to one side. And now, we need this one. 
so you need a 12. First thing we need to do is we need to slacken off the alternator. Oh, so got this one here. Uh, nope, it's going to be right, so. Off to make it loose because obviously it, will, obviously it will not move until this is now. This just pinches up, so it shouldn't be too tight. That that's pretty loose now. Yeah, that's pretty loose now. now, there's a bolt on the back. You see this one here? This, this, this threaded piece. Well, this needs to be loosened up, and this is what dictates how tight the belt is. So, again, it should be pretty loose. Yeah, that's pretty loose. Now, you see what I mean about having the flexible head on it? Obviously, the spanner. To articulate to it. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do this with my hand now. That's pretty loose. The alternator should move pretty, pretty easily now. So there's some movement on it. We need to slacken this off quite a bit. Pull it off. Right, now we need to basically just slip the belt around now. So. Pull it off there, get it round the water pump. We'll have to spin the belt sideways to do it. And the belt is free. So there's the part number of the original belt. You can see 5k. Uh, PK, so 5PK911. Not going to be able to see much of this unfortunately, but essentially we pop the new belt up. Let's push that up there, around the water pump. And then around the alternator, because this only draw, this only drives the alternator um, and the water pump, it doesn't actually drive anything else. Um, and it goes, it basically goes round them. That's the only way to describe it. It's, it's quite a simple setup on it. Okay, so continuing on, you can see there the belt. We need to put, obviously put it around the alternator and then get it around the top of the uh, wash pump. Um, making sure obviously it goes round the crank pulley as well. Once you've got the belt fitted, um, you need to obviously retension it. Now the way you do that is you basically reverse of, of what we did take it back. You need to tighten this belt up, this bolt up. Now obviously you don't want to be tightening this up to the point where it's ridiculously tight because the belt just doesn't need to be that tight. It needs to be relatively tight, but not not stupid. Um, uh, generally the rule of thumb is on the longest point, um, so on the on the bottom point where it comes back up, on the, well this lower part down here, is you want about a centimetre of deflection. Um, generally on a belt um, and that's what you want to set it as once you've got it right obviously you just tighten this bolt here and that will tighten and that will obviously lock it in place and then obviously going back underneath you need to tighten up the 14 mil bolt that we did before as for the uh, the uh, uh, AC compressor belt again we want about a centimetre of deflection so you don't want it ridiculously tight and you just need to tighten up the uh, the, uh, the the pulley at the bottom so, <coughs> as you can see there, obviously we just need to tighten that up. Um, and essentially, like I say, don't go mad, you want about a centimetre deflection. Um, but that really is it, guys. Once that's back together, obviously put your uh, arch, uh, your arch uh, cover back on and obviously put the wheel back in. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.